If you're into visual storytelling, mind mapping, or making complex ideas super easy to understand, then you've probably heard of SketchWow, that hand-drawn sketch style diagram tool that blew up a while back. But here's the real question. Is SketchWow still worth it today? With so many new diagramming and doodle style apps popping up, does it still hold up? Or is it time to move on into something better? So we are going to dive into what SketchWow does well, where it falls short, who it's really for, and whether it's still worth your money. So let's begin. SketchWow is a sketch style diagramming and presentation tool designed to make charts, workflows, and visuals look hand-drawn and friendly, similar to whiteboard sketches or comic style diagrams. If you go to the official website and you wanted to check the pricing plans, you would easily notice that it offers the monthly subscription of $39 and you get to have all these. Unlimited sketches, AI-powered mind maps, flows and visuals, and of course, access to 100 and plus templates, 350 elements, shapes and icons, standard color backgrounds, 30 fonts, Resize canvas or custom size, import images, drag and drop, JPEG, presentation mode, file backup and restore, and of course use on multiple computers, plus a standard support. Thing is, if you wanted to save more money along the way, I highly suggest you take the special offer at $49 lifetime one-time payment, and you get to have all these. Now, if you feel like that the monthly plan is going to be the right subscription for you, I want you to click the get started. This is important for you to make sure that the platform is the right app for your business and it fits your workflow, especially your business size, goals, and your budget. So these are what's included on the software, okay? And this is going to be the billing details. Once you are sure about it, just click the complete the checkout button, okay? And then what will happen is that, all right, so you will be forwarded to the main page wherein you have all these options for you. So this is going to be the main dashboard of the welcome page once you logged in. Right now, we nothing is to see here because this is a newly created account. And of course, we have two options at the bottom. You can start to create a new project or start news using an AI. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm going to go to the templates right away because on the templates you can start building something without creating from scratch so you have email flows some customer journey email empathy map takeoff infographic and a lot more how about the annotate picture okay so we're gonna click this if you do you will be forwarded here i'm gonna skip this for now because i have an idea on how to create a diagram here all right now Now, in this scenario, you have the uh, left side panel of your dashboard, which is going to be some tools that we can use to edit this um, presentation. All right. So in this, um, in this case, say, for example, and then on the left side, you have the select button. The select button gives you the option to move in elements that you wanted. All right, so you can resize if you want. For example, if you feel that this is going to be like um, a little bit smaller, if you want to resize it, you have the freedom to do so. You have the cropping factor, and of course, you can also rotate this depending on your preferences. Now, this element is if you wanted to add specific shapes, for example, um, let's say if you wanted to add a circle, drag and drop it here, okay? So you can uh, resize that. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want. There's a uh, left tool. If you click on the uh, right side panel, you have an option to send backward if you want. Similar to other platforms like Canva and a lot more. Okay. Let's say. Let's do that. You can have more control because over here you have the stroke capacity right here stroke width if you want it a little bit bigger and the font right here if you want to have a different 
font color, you can do that as well. And then there's going to be the line. Line is similar to the shapes because for the line, you have more control over the stroke width and a lot more. So I'm going to go back here. There's going to be the text. Now for the text, that's going to be the um, different. If you wanted to have a different font style, for example, this, you can do so. All right. The background is something that you wanted. If you want to add a grid right here. And you have that for you the pencil is if you wanted to type in something here for example um let's say you can do uh, you can draw something here you can be creative all right you're not limited with your imagination so with with that in mind we're gonna go back here and then if you want to add a specific image you can do that now I have my image here I'm going to add it here on this side of my um, canvas. And then once I've done that, let, I'm going to choose another image. And I'm going to delete the first one. I have this already here. Sorry about that. I'm going to drag this logo here. It could be around here. So we have this covered right here. And then the templates is again if you wanted to create another um, workspace. Not gonna do with that because we've already done that and then the uh, simple sketches is if you want to click a simple sketch to add for example we're gonna be adding um maybe this one right here or let's say in this instance we're gonna be using this now that you've seen the platform in action and how intuitive it is you can tell it's easy to navigate with a virtually no learning curve However, if you'd like to explore further, you can also visit trusted software review platform like Captera. From here, you can check authentic user reviews, detailed feedback, pricing information, and potential alternatives to SketchWow because this site provides valuable insights from real users, helping you make a well informed decision that fits your specific needs and budget and with that being said and basically that's it for today's video if a sketch wow is still worth it if this video was helpful do not forget to hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe for more tech breakdowns and software reviews just like this one if you have any questions or experiences using sketch wow let us know in the comments below we'd love to hear from you and as always thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.